Good evening and welcome back to Elmarva. The Art League of Ocean City and Salisbury University are raising awareness for Recovery Month with a new innovative art experience. 47 ABC's Jack Fitchner has the story. I was just in so much pain that in my mind, you know, when I die, there's not going to be anything. It's just just like how you could imagine it before you were born. Brandon O'Brien is just one of 12 Delmarva residents included in an interactive art display at Salisbury University. All of the subjects in Portraits of Recovery have suffered with addiction and lived to share their stories. When I first met Brandon, I just was quickly very inspired by his story and all the struggles that he had been through. And just to see him where he is today and all the success that he has now and how he's helping his community was just really inspiring to me. And High school artist Izzy Huber channeled that inspiration onto the canvas, now hanging in the campus dining hall. Each portrait equipped with a QR code that brings the user to a video of the subject's personal struggles. Dining officials felt that Commons was a perfect fit. I thought this would be the ideal location since we have so much student, family, uh, community traffic in here. I don't know a single family that's not doesn't know someone or doesn't have someone who suffers from addiction. The Art League of Ocean City created the exhibit. Education director Katrine Huber says that personal stories are an innovative way to inform young adults and kids about substance abuse disorder. Because then they are hopefully, you know, thinking about what they're doing, their decisions, what they're, you know, what decisions they're making. Huber says stories like Brandon's leave a lasting impact. You're losing your friends and he's, he, for example, he said, my wake up call was seeing my best friend in a coffin. And that's why Art League Executive Director Rena Thaler says that this exhibit is so important. It's our mission to service all parts of the community and to show how art can affect health and mental health in particular. I'm Jack Fitchner, 47 ABC, WMDT. Now to learn more about the exhibit, just head on over to stigmahighlighted.com. And at this time, we're going to throw things over to our chief meteorologist, Rich Wardzik, for a look at that weekend forecast. Rich. And Rob, we're going to have a lot more of this going into the weekend. This is right now taking a look at some severe weather moving into parts of the area. Severe thunderstorm warning, probably saw it on the bottom of your screen here recently, uh, um, uh, indicated here for Kent County on the Maryland side. I'll zoom in a little closer here. Not moving very fast, but the potential is going to be for damaging winds. Just put a storm track on there. Centerville here, just a few minutes. I should be moving through town. Ruthsburg, 1141, and uh, over to Greensboro at 1157 here. And that storm, if it was to hold together, will will be headed toward the Delaware line through Caroline County into Kent County, Delaware here past midnight. And uh, the idea is these showers and storms kind of developing, falling apart, redeveloping. That could go on for the next couple of hours here into the nighttime period. It was a hot one again today, 94 degrees officially at Salisbury, uh, the airport. It did not break a record today. The past couple of days we did today, we uh, just below it. This is going to be the hottest day going forward. Tomorrow is still going to be uncomfortable. Same with Sunday, but many of us tomorrow won't get to 90. All of us will stay below 90 on Sunday. It was a beautiful shot, though, with some of these storms and showers as they started billowing up during the day. Uh, outside of our station here in Salisbury, Ariel Evans took that photo. She's going to step off the screen so you can see a wonderful picture. Love to have your photos. Find me on Facebook or Twitter, and you can always go to WMDT.com to upload a photo. Okay, right now, this is live in Rehoboth Beach, our Morse Roofing and Siding Sky Cam. Uh, take a look at Temperatures across the area, another warm and muggy night, still at 80 in Wallops, Ocean City 79, Salisbury 77. Don't expect too much more of a cool down here through tonight because of the high humidity. And we're in the southern part of that boundary that divides the really humid air that's over us and the slightly more comfortable air to the north and west. But you can see showers and storms developing along this boundary. That thing is going to stay on top of us here, or at least within the region throughout the rest of the weekend. So that's why that chance for rain doesn't completely go away. There's Saturday morning at 5 a.m. So as I said, next couple of hours at least we'll continue with showers and storms and we'll get those to move out. And then after some morning sun tomorrow, we'll do it all over again in the afternoon, pop up showers and thunderstorms. They'll die out eventually Sunday or Saturday night and then 
Sunday afternoon, we'll see them redevelop again. So very hit or miss, but everyone's going to be probably seeing at least a downpour between right now and the end of the weekend. Let's talk about Hurricane Lee here briefly. A still a very strong storm has undergone some weakening here recently, expected to reemerge as a Category 4 storm here. This is well into next week, by the way. Just give you an idea still how far away it is from the coast. But there we go with uh, uh, that should be Wednesday right there, where that Category 3 spot's going to be just south of Bermuda. Still expected to take that northward turn, keep a close eye on it. At the very least, we could be looking at rip currents along the beaches by the end of next week. 70 to 75, muggy tonight. Again, those storms possible. Not as hot tomorrow, but still uncomfortable. And that'll go with yellow paws for the afternoon for the Brazier's Carpet Care Dog Walking Forecast. Happy 17th birthday to Maisie. Thank you, Cheryl, for sending in that photo. Showers and storms, as I talk about, for each afternoon here for the weekend. We'll get a break from the rain into Tuesday. More showers and storms Wednesday and Thursday, cooling off a bit on Friday. We've got more DSI coming up on the other side of the break. Stay with us.